thanks for uh, for having me on on the show today. I, Thank you. I, th I think the first thing I'd say is I. Uh, Every lawyer that I work with would tell you that I'm constantly challenging them uh, in some way. I, most especially my wife, who's a who's a lawyer too. Um, so I've grown up surrounded by uh, by many from the legal profession. It's a profession that I know well, uh, both from the outside as a client, but also from the inside. I li living with a partner in a law firm I, too, I, and it's been interesting, you know, over my career to watch how the legal profession. I, has evolved, I, and as it has in many cases, and then not so, uh, not so much in, in others. I, I, look, the, the best law firms I see out there today I, are the ones that see themselves as entrepreneurial enablers, especially the commercial law side of it. But but that goes to almost everything, even on the commercial side, even commercial litigation. The get best commercial litigation people I talk to are not there to you know, fire me into a f fee hell in, in, in a lifetime in a court, but they're actually there to help us think strategically and tactically about, look, if we've got a bit of a challenge on somehow, how do we resolve this in a way that hopefully wins for everybody uh, around the table? And I think that's the key thing. Gone are the days for me when I view a lawyer as a, as a necessary evil. I view a lawyer I in the context of the many contexts that we use legal, the legal profession, I'm, as an, an entrepreneurial enabler, the great lawyers that I've got around, uh, you know, around our organizations help us get stuff done. And then, albeit when you're really into it, like we've just uh, recently completed the disposal of, uh, of TV squared, I, that's the point when, you know, lawyers really come in at their own and you get a, a deal and an agreement structured with something that's as complex as that with a US public company on one side, multiple investors behind a, a private company on the other side. I'm, and that's when I, I'm in awe of the profession for how they organize and execute I, and manage risk I, in a way that these things are so complex. I, I, and that's the point where I absolutely do not challenge my lawyers too much. So let them, let them lead us. The short answer to, uh, to, to your question is, um, we all learn from each other, all businesses sh and, and, and legal professional organizations, especially in le recent years where they've moved away from traditional partnership, a lot of them into liability setups and things. They have to absolutely think like any business that, that I know and the best ones, the ones that I enjoy interacting with, that's exactly how they think of themselves. So thank you so much, Chris. It's massively appreciated. Cheers, Ali. Th thank you.